what is the change in the potential energy of the proton is it really to the supporting areas on the direction of the electric field which is the and the No, I don't need the hint. Uh, so we're looking for the change in electric potential energy of a proton that moves two centimeters in the direction of the electric field, which has a magnitude of, Meredith, what was it? 215 newtons. Newtons per coulomb, 250 newtons per coulomb. So let's set up a constant electric field. Let's say that it looks like this. It does not give the direction of the electric field, so I'm just picking to the right, it could be to the left, it could be up, it could be down, it could be at some other angle. This is our constant electric field. We're taking this positive charge, we're having it start here, and we're having it end somewhere over here, and that's going to be our final point. But we're looking for the change in electric potential energy, which of course is equal to negative QE delta D. Please give me all of the numbers. Christina. Um, Negative Q. Q is. I'm going to figure that out. We actually know it. What's the particle we're moving? A proton. We know the charge on a proton it is. Times the electric field? 215. Times the displacement? Uh, 272.02 Okay, so we do need to convert this distance of 2.0 centimeters. And I did say that you could just convert in your head at this point this one uh, conversion here from one to the other. So we have then 0 0.02 meters. So the change in electric potential energy is equal to negative. times 10 to the negative 19 dimensions we get? Um. Joules. It's just a change in the electric potential energy. Therefore, it's just going to be in joules. OK. So this change in electric potential energy is negative. So what happened to the electric potential energy? This is soft. Where did it go? We just figured out the change in electric potential energy for this proton. It ended up being a negative number. And I'm curious, where did this electric potential energy go? It actually did not go to the surroundings. Where did the electric potential energy go, Meredith? It became kinetic energy, right? The mechanical energy is conserved. So it lost electric potential energy, and therefore it gained kinetic energy. In other words, it got faster. So let's say it started at rest. Its initial point was here. We let go of it. It accelerated to the right. It now has some sort of final velocity. We could actually go through and figure that out. We're not going to do that right now. Don't worry. You'll get an opportunity to do so. Let's take the question and let's reverse it. Instead of using a positive charge, let's take a negative charge. So now we're going to use an electron. So again, we have an electron that's in a constant electric field. And we're going to move that electron two centimeters in, bless you, so many people have seen this today. We're going to move that electron two centimeters in the direction of the electric field. What changes in our equations? Duval. Well, <clears throat> um, the electric field will be negative. The only thing that changes is the charge goes from a positive charge to a negative charge. It has the exact same magnitude, so we use the same equation. The change in electric potential energy equals negative QE delta T, the negative of the charge, which is 1 .6, negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. The electric field, which is 215 newtons per coulomb, and the displacement, which is, again, 0 0.02. 
which means we're going to end up with a positive 6.88 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, or with sig figs, 6.9 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So what happened here? With the proton, it lost electric potential energy and it gained kinetic energy. But here, this electron is gaining, it's gained elect electric potential energy. How is it that could have, it could have gained electric potential energy? What's happening here? Charlotte. Um, maybe a sure. I don't understand why it's positive. We got a negative for the change in electric potential energy of the proton. Why for an electron are we gaining electric potential energy? Because it's negative, you know, it's negative. I agree mathematically. Why? Right. But I want to understand the physics. Because that's the important piece. Is I, I understand that we add a negative, it makes a positive. But I want to know what's going on here that makes it so the change in electric potential energy is going to be positive. Look. Uh, because like the electric field is in terms of the proton. Uh -huh. So if you use an electron, then you're moving it against the uh, like regular flow. Like the electron would want to go to the left. So let's go through that, right? If we go talk about the proton, class, if I take this proton right here and I let go of it, what's going to happen to it? It's going to accelerate to the right. If I take this negative charge, this electron, and I let go of it right here, what's, this going, to, what's it going to do? It's going to accelerate to the right. <coughs> Left. Sorry, I get switched. So it, that's always helpful. So the negative charge is going to accelerate to the left because an electric field is defined by a positive charge. I agree. Great. Why, though, is it gaining? How could it gain electric potential energy? You're correct, and it has to do with that. But I don't know why. How it could gain electric potential energy? energy. Add friction. Uh, it doesn't have to do with friction. It's actually, it's a, the electron's not going to be rubbing against a surface of any sort. Lindsay? It's losing kinetic energy because it doesn't want One choice is it could be losing kinetic energy, right? It has, in, in order for it to get over here, it would have to have some sort of initial velocity, right? And therefore, it's actually slowing down. So instead of the proton, which was gaining kinetic energy, the electron is therefore losing kinetic energy as it gains electric potential energy. That's one possibility. What's another possibility? Rick? Could we have some attention to spring of some kind? It doesn't really matter. We can take our hand and we can push the electron. Right? It, however it, it happens, we need, we need to push it from here to there somehow. That's really unreasonable to say I'm going to push an electron, but anyway, we would need to somehow push the electron from here to here, and this would be the amount of work that was done on the electron in order to get it to move from here to here, because naturally, the electron is going to want to move to the left. It's going to feel electric force to the left, and somehow we would not need to counteract that. Therefore, it's going to gain electric potential energy in the same way that I have to apply a force to Captain Underpants to get them to move the opposite direction of the gravitational field. The same is true for a negative charge moving in the direction of an electric field. Learn. Also, um, if the um, electric field had been shifted, um, could it be um, converting like, um, you know, gravitational potential energy to um, electric? Ah, but realize for a, an electron, which is an atomic particle, and, that and, uh, for an electron, that the gravitational potential energy for atomic particles is negligible. Just like the force of gravity for atomic particles was negligible, the gravitational potential energy for atomic particles is also negligible. So it's actually irrelevant whether it's vertical or horizontal. Sorry. 